So Sarah Healy and I collaborated to do an SPCA drive and we collected supplies for the SPCA. Students did an absolutely amazing job. They created flyers, they created posters, they created collection boxes, and most importantly they learned about empathy and how to care about their community. The students put boxes in each community and then the grade levels were able to bring in donations like dry dog and cat food, fleece blankets, paper towels, dish detergent, and the students collected them from those areas every day. And we also did a lot on the morning announcements. For two weeks we had speakers from second grade um, do the morning announcements and share about the SPCA drive and we also played chatter picks which was a really cool experience for the kids. They were able to write about the SPCA and then they chose an animal and they recorded a chatter picks and shared information about the SPCA drive and even students who struggled with reading were very confident with the chatter picks so that was really cool. Sephora and I need non-seafood canned food for me to eat. I need some cat scratching posts to keep my claws nice and sharp. I would like someone to adopt me and take care of me. If you want to help me, there is a box in your community where you can put supplies. Me and my friends will be very happy once we have supplies. My name is Storm. I am a black and tan coonhound cross and I am a boy. We are doing an SPCA supplies drive and we need stuff like squeegees, dog and cat food, and new fleece blanket. It's um, please try to remember to ask the people you know oh, for these things. Please try to help the animals at the SPCA. So the kids generously donated and really rallied the school together to donate much needed supplies to the SPCA, including cat and dog treats, toys, linens, blankets, cleaning supplies, and it's really amazing just to see the difference that a school can make to help the animals of the SPCA and how they can all contribute together to help an homeless animals of both Charlottesville and Albemarle County.